This is microwave propagation trainer MPT10. It consists of microwave transmitters and microwave receivers. Microwave transmitters working at a frequency of 10.3 GHz are generating a power of about 5 milliwatts, and they have uh, integrated horn antenna, pyramidal integrated horn antenna with a gain of about 15 dB at the transmitter and at the receiver end. The re the receiver is a 10.3 GHz super heterodyne transverter which converts the 10.3 GHz to a lower IF of about 10 MHz and that is being read into the receiver. The receiver has a logarithmic display of received signal strength in dB microvolts. Right now 58.5 dB microvolts is the signal that is being received after being connected with two pyramidal horns and at 10.3 gigahertz we've already connected a 20 db attenuator to avoid saturation of the receiver the receiver should not be allowed to exceed the reading of about 70 db microvolts in any case we have provided higher power so that inverse square law distances can be increased the receiver consists of a special mechanism whereby the polarization of the received signal can be altered right now the receiver is vertically polarized because we have an connector here and we have a waveguide to coax adapter it's a right angle adapter with a probe in the vertical plane now the probe in the vertical plane when being fed to a pyramidal horn antenna leads to a vertically polarized wave front. We have to ensure that the transmitter is also being vertically polarized as you can observe by the probe inside the waveguide to coax adapter. This is also a vertically polarized transmitter. By using high gain micro antennas with very low beam widths, it allows laser like precision of optics experiments. The transmitter and receiver are mounted on two arms of a goniometer. This is a goniometer with four arms and each of them can be individually be adjusted and the angle can be measured to a accuracy of about half a degree. We can perform several experiments related to the propagation of microwave since microwave is also an electromagnetic wave the behavior of the microwave is also similar to light or laser by having a wavelength of 10.3 gigahertz being in the range of 3 centimeters it allows visually certain things to be seen which are normally not possible in and optics experiments say like we talk about a polarization grill this polarization grill has got vertical wires which uh, which allow electromagnetic wave in only one plane to pass through and in another plane it is considerably attenuated the students are able to better appreciate the polarization by being able to visualize the appearance of a polarizer in case of a optical polaroid these grills are made by long strains of molecules which are very difficult to comprehend but in microwave this allows easy understanding with the complete setup we have an instrument we have a transmitter we have a receiver we have a goniometer and we also have a cubical lattice it consists of 5 by 5 array of cubes wherein each of these balls are reflecting a particular are reflecting a microwave signals and together they are constituting a cubical lattice of a particular crystal so we can perform the experiments of the behavior of the crystal planes by Bragg's grating by analyzing this cubical lattice. We've also provided a prism. This prism is consisting of a polyethylene foam mold. This polyethylene foam 
has got air bubbles in it and it is permeable to microwave and it has a very low dielectric constant so it is altering the microwave signal in a very low fashion but when we introduce these pellets into the the prism it allows considerable refraction of the prism we provided spare molecules in the form of these balls steel balls we have provided metal reflectors which will be used to perform the experiments of fabry perot and michelson interferometers we have provided with partial reflector panels these allow reflection as well as it allow some of the micro signal to pass through so some of the experiments will be performed using the partial reflectors we provided with spacers some of these are wide slit spacer some of it it is a narrow slit spacer when used in conjunction with other reflector panels this will allow us to perform experiments on diffraction by interference of the signal from the two slits we've also provided with a dipole probe as you can see this is a broadband dipole which is being connected at the end of a coaxial cable which is being connected to a SMA to N adapter now this particular dipole has a integrated balloon structure as well as a radiating element it doesn't need any matching and it performs well from 5 to 20 gigahertz it allows us to measure the standing wave ratios and it has a very good polarization discrimination so it allows us to find the plane of polarization of the wave as well as it allows us to plot the standing wave ratios in space along the propagation of the signal provided with a rotating table which can be mounted on the goniometer and any object can be placed on the rotating table we've also provided with a stepper motor controlled turntable which can be mounted on the top of the goniometer and automated measurements of rotating of the object can be done the stepper motor can be connected to the instrument the instrument has a motor output here the motor can be connected and by pressing the up or down keys the motor will rotate in the defined step size right now the step size is 5 degree so if I press up the motor will rotate in 5 degrees so the object on top of the motor can be rotated automatically this allows automatic measurements in a way that we are not subjecting ourselves to a lot of microwave field and it allows stable readings by using a stepper motor controller this is definitely an edge of our equipment over the other systems the other key points being the use of 10.3 gigahertz MESFET DRO sources and DRO mixers all these are powered by inbuilt power supply from the instrument and a BNC connector it powers the system and a LED glows indicating that the power is suitably applied if to ensure that both of these LEDs are glowing while the time the experiment is being performed 